welcome back to some more Persona 4 um, Golden Edition. And we are out here. We are excited to hop into this. And I know this is kind of a sounding. <laughs> Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in In. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. Uh. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... So this has something to do with the affair. <laughs> the, the Inaba Police Department, that's where Dad works. It's his job, so things like this happen. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. So this is on the roof? <laughs> That's scary. So this is a, a, a like a thing of love. Oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is custom. Every day is great. Every day is great at your Juness. <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. That's okay. There we go. There. Now we got it. Now we got where we needed to go. But anyways, um, we've learned some interesting things. Um, so we'll find out <laughs> what happens next. So have a good one. I'm excited to see kind of where this game takes me because last we knew, I think we can just go to bed. I believe you're still tired from getting used to uni life. You should return to your rest. Yes. I, I feel like this game is supposed to promote, like, exploration, and you're supposed to explore a little bit more than I'm doing, so I'm gonna try and do that. Oh, Biker Kid! Oh my god, Biker Kid. Someone! Maybe you should help him. Yes! <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Yosuke! Oh my god, okay. Now I have a freaking name for you. I was so... Okay. I really wish I played like five more minutes of the game because I would have had so much relief from the last episode not having to wait two mother freaking days to figure out what your name was. Just like you. Huh, Yosuke? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. That's good. That's what we care about. Yogi seems to be alright. Yogi seems to be alright. Okay. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think yeah. it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. I would agree. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. I mean, yes, but you're right, though. Oh, crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Oh, we again, again not getting the choices. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Do you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'm going to straighten you your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll especially, I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now, back to your books. 
We let our knowledge has increased. Wait, that was that, that lit it blue like it was a stat. I mean, I'll take it if it has actually a stat, then that's cool. So, are you getting used to this place? Yes, K. <laughs> Not yet, honestly. Yeah, well, you just got here. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? Oh, please don't tell me about June. It's grilled steak, man. Thank God. Like that's oh. anything special, huh? <laughs> I so thought we were gonna go on uh, don't go on about June's and I was like, oh god, can we not? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? Oh, she uh shut up. My trial of the dragon <sighs> You always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad at Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Do I have an option? No, I don't have a freaking I'll option. Pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Huh? Wow, Yukiko-san, you started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. She, you weren't invited to this. Can you just like not and then let huh? the boys hang out? Do I seriously have to treat two people? <sighs> okay. We're here at June's. Everything is so great at Judas. Oh no, I was joking. I didn't want to go here. Oh my gosh. I should have known. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. Ah, okay. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, she is bugging the crap out of me. I feel like there's a reason, because it's not my personality, but like also like... It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> They're just arguing, sitting here arguing. Oh, who's that? She feels like she's on Saki break. Senpai. What? Okay, I mean, you go, but, like, also not what I was Sorry, expecting Sorry, be right back. <laughs> he wishes. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. I just kind of assumed worker, so I'm glad it was right on that note. Hey, that. how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. 
Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? She can actually talk to us? Okay, I mean, I'm okay with this. Like, you can talk to us. Oh. Are you the transfer student? Oh, <laughs> did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan. Sorry, I'm. I'm like right in the way of the profiles, and it's like nobody told me about that. But he doesn't oh, have too many friends, well, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, senpai. There's no need to worry about something like Well, my break's just about later. So our break's done. That was a quick oh, break. Oh, senpai? I mean, it wasn't really, but I'm sure in game time it was actually a pretty decent lunch break. But <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh. You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. Oh. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Okay. You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen, and they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Maybe you should try it out. I mean, okay. Are we going back? Oh, we're probably going back to the house, honestly. And then it's going to be like, do you want to try it out? And then you say yes or no. And <sighs> Oh, no, not a co. Yeah. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. Been busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follower report about the incident yesterday when Mrs. Yamano, the TV announcer, announcer, was alive. She was having an affair with the secretary. The man's wife seems to be um, uh, and on to a singer, could the incident be tied to the lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship that was what I was expecting. and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, <sighs> an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? 
Uh, um. The female student's face and voice are indistinct. But you, she, like you've seen her before. I know. Don't you think it's oh scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... Yeah. A uh, tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Is, is there... Mm, mm. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> If they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Nobody would, but okay. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. We'll be right back after these messages. He seems so peeved, and I would be too. I mean, the media is like making light of this and like basically being like and acting in a foolish way. Oh. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. I heard Come see the for freaking yourself jingle. and get in touch I with our heard products. The mother freaking jingle. It's already getting to that point with this. Oh Every no. Is great at your it's already gotten to this point. It's literally me being a retail worker. It's Every 100 it's 100 percent being me being a retail worker. Hey, Dad, and that's why can we go to I'm like, together sometime? Ah, whenever I hear that kind of those kind of jingles and stuff. And don't you want no? to sleep. Jeez. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. But Dojima is sleeping. You should leave him alone. But what if I want to wake him up? Why can't I wake him up? Ooh, check. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. What? Nothing catches your eye. Okay. I guess... Oh, we, we can go in here. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the channel this midnight. You should go check it out in your room. Oh, well... Okay. Almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look at the key and already know. Could she story be true? Absolutely not, but we're going for it anyway. Mm -hmm.
Are you okay? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. Decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Okay. So, like, okay. Like, what is happening? Well, I mean, I know what's happening, kind of what's happening, but. Sorry. Move over. She forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this Kung Fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull some or pull off some sweet moves, and then I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the moves. She. By the way, did you see it? I did. Ah, uh, do tell, but the person it showed. Never mind, I'll save it when others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Yes, I agree, we should talk about this because like, I'm assuming that you know the same thing. Oh, uh, it's kind of awkward um, to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. Uh, let's race. <laughs> We're both gonna run through the rain. What's the point in that? Besides, it's not like I wanted to make a break for it. <laughs> I'm worrying too much. <laughs> I'll keep going with you. Exactly. We did good. We actually had a good interaction with her. I've, I have a feeling that like interactions, the way that you're interacting with them matter. And so that's kind of, who the frick are you? Hello everyone, my name is Kim. Kimoko Sofe, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like romance. In fact, world history is magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and now flows ever forward. I hope that we can all enjoy the profundity, or profundity of history together. And since this is my first lecture, I will start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Morimoto, please stand up. Oh god, we get called out immediately, because of course. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before what AD called? Um, 1 BC. Because it's before Christ and after death. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> if you think that history is like math, zero AD would be the natural assumption. But in world history, it's much more complicated. Let's go. We, you know, we got our first quiz. The Gregorian, oh no. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based off of the Julian calendar, which is was made while there was no concept of the zero as a number. That's why we, when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct answer. Yes, we did, because I... Our knowledge has increased. Yo! Uh, we, we freaking did it. I We got our first quiz out of the way. What's I didn't up even, with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y yo Um. Uh-oh. We're gonna get a confirmation. It's, uh, we? it's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I mean, we already know why you're... Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. Yeah. I wonder if that's why <clears throat> she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? 
Yeah, she seems a lot more stressed than normal. I guess they're running her ragged. Probably, honestly. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Oh, you forgot, you son of a gun. Well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? It sounds like we all saw the same person. It was a girl. I totally thought it was a man, but, but okay. Weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Wow. <laughs> Wait, did that just age this? Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so annoying. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> oh my god. They don't believe you at all. You decide to go to Genius with the others. Again, don't get an option, but okay. That is one thing that this game lacks a little bit of, is Genius Electronics Department. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. I mean, yeah. Nope, can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got it. Cheap. Cheap is not what you're looking for in this. <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. <laughs> I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's but a little it's old. Not. With a TV this big, you really might want to, might be able to go inside. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa! <laughs> Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no! You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you astonished. You might be able to put more than just your arm in. Oh boy. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! 
there's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean inside? Wh what do you mean empty space? <laughs> they are so. It's, he was very spacious in here. They are so what freaked do you mean out. Spacious. I mean, what's going on? They're so. Holy crap! I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Shit! Customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. <laughs> what are we gonna oh, do? Oh no! <laughs> Wait! Whoa! Uh oh. Here we are. Hmm. Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Uh... Um... So, uh, we're still alive. <laughs> Valid question. Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. Uh, of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Where even in this world are we? Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. No. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Let's look around, uh -huh. honestly. But, but look, we need to get home and... How do you suppose huh? we do that? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh... I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? You're right. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Okay. I mean... Hmm. Oh, is that... We don't get to do anything in here? What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but seems like there's no choice for now. You go to you onward. Okay. <sighs> what? Hey, is it me, or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. That's fair. Huh? What the? Uh-oh. It's a dead end. There's no exit. Uh-oh. Keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. This doesn't look like it's gonna be great. Uh, I can't hold it anymore.
any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have got... Turn around, I can't go for... I can't do it. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Who even is it? Oh, wait a minute. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Yeah, cause that's the, um, that's the lady. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to the place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I mean, yeah, we need to. We need to figure out what we're doing or how we're gonna go about it. We're just getting cutscene after cutscene right now, to be honest. Phew, we finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Uh-oh. Oh, what the frick are you? What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? Uh, what in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Oh, you have talking stuff too. <gasps> it talked! I have the same reaction. It talked. Uh, well, what are you? You want to fight? D don't yell at me like that. Bear's cowering in fear. Maybe you should better ask him nicely. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Can you just not? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Watch the okay, bear now rooms. go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! We got let out, right? That's assuming, right? Like, we didn't just get screwed over by this bear, right? Like, we'll be okay. We're back at Junus. Yeah. Huh? Is that Did we... Make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Okay. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. 
That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, yeah, wait. it is. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. Okay. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I agree. <laughs> well, like. Hey, welcome home. Thank you. We're having top ramen. I like that. You still feel sluggish. Um. Well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but... She hasn't been found yet. Oh, no. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation uh -oh. has found that she had been staying in the region's <gasps> famous Amagi Inn. Oh my god. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. This spring? If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers <clears throat> on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility okay. will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues and continues. And the whereabouts of Saki are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Also, you should get to bed after you take it. Love that we have the hair on the arms that didn't notice until just now because I'm freaking weird. Um... You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. Don't rest yet. Do I have... Did she did she give me the cold medicine? And this is... Okay. Rest. Oh my gosh, it's still raining. What the heck? Oh boy, more cutscenes. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. 